Yeah, congratulations. And, you know, on a normal year, some of us might be thinking and hoping for a snow day tomorrow, but we all know it's not normal. But here's our final thoughts as we head into what's probably going to be the most snow we have seen so far this season. Remember, four other times we've had snow, and each time it's only been a trace. We're going to get more than a trace this time around. In fact, the excitement of going to bed with no snow on the ground and waking up with snow on the grass, that is a high likelihood for most of us tonight. Over the last 24 hours, the snow totals have gone up, but tonight they're pretty much holding. The winter weather advisory, that'll officially go into effect for most of us at midnight. But like every snow event in North Carolina, we've got some challenges to overcome. Will the rain snow line forecast dropping through our entire area, will that hold? If you remember last time, it got stuck in the northwest part of central North Carolina and took a lot longer, and that changed the forecast. And with our warm temperatures today, can the heavy snow we're expecting overnight overcome the warm temperatures. Most times, heavy snow wins out. Will it be heavy enough? There will be melting, and that's going to change our totals, and we've accounted for that. And I'll show you what we're thinking here in just a second. But as you can see behind me, and maybe you hear outside or been outside, the cold rain has arrived. The rain snow line right now is parked just to our north, and what we expect over the next hour or so for that to start moving to the south. So let's go up to South Hill, Virginia, which is just now starting to get some precipitation. That's where the rain snow line is going to be as soon as it starts precipitating. And right now they're dry, but they're cold, 39 with a wind chill of 35. And listen, after we get through all the snow tonight, cold is going to be the big story tomorrow. So Thursday, 6 a.m., 5, 6, 7 a.m., we still have some snow, but very quickly after that, we dry out and clear out, leaving us with sunshine the rest of the day. But it's going to be windy, and our highs are going to struggle to get to 40, meaning our wind chills most of the day are going to be in the 20s. So yes, snow, that's exciting, but the rest of the day, bundle up. It's going to be cold. So let's get back to Futurecast. Here's what we expect it to look like at midnight. And so far, everything has worked out with the forecast. But the most important part is still to come. This rain snow line, which will be right around the Virginia border in the next 30 to 60 minutes, we expect it to dive far to the south with a big burst of cold air, both from the north and in the upper levels of the atmosphere that's going to get pulled down to the surface. So that'll give a lot of us snow by 2 a.m. So if you want to see snow, I know a lot of us are going to sleep through it, I want you to get up at 2, 3, 4 a.m. Because if you sleep until 6 or 7, it could be over by then. Here we are at 4 a.m. Widespread snow for many of us, but then shortly after that, at 6 a.m., we start to dry out. So it's a fast-moving system. We're going to dry out very quickly. And then by 8 and 9 a.m., we're sunny, we're breezy, and we're cold. The computer models tonight have jostled around a little bit. The American model, which has been 5 to 6 inches the last few days, dropped a little. But the North American model jumped up a little. So again, nothing major has changed. The computer models tend to agree with what we're about to tell you. So most likely two to four inches, the highest amount we're going to see is going to be North Wake County, Durham, and everyone northeast of that. If it really gets heavy for a while, could get five to seven inches. That's unlikely. But most of us are going to be in this one to two inch zone here in the pink, and that's through the heart of the triangle. And unfortunately, the sand hills, like usual, maybe up to an inch, but missing out a lot on what everyone else is expected. And again, after the snow, we've got lots of cold air. We don't get out of the 40s until next Wednesday, but the 10-day forecast brings us up to 60 by next Friday.